Hey friends of the channel, today is Sunday, April 16th. Got another MLB best bet for you. And as always, we're trying to turn $2 into $32,000. We're going to get to that in just a second, but first, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our MLB best bets all season long, and while you're at it, smash that like button. We are hitting 66% winners here in April, and we are on day number five of our streak challenge. So, without further ado, let's dive into today's matchup, try to make it 68% here in April, and we are going to go into the Mets-A's matchup. We're going to take over eight and a half runs. Yesterday, the Mets won 3-2, and the A's will now be trying to avoid a sweep tonight uh, as they're going to face off against Mets youngster Jose Buto. Buto making his second career start, having not pitched in an MLB game since last August, and let's just say that one did not go well against the Philadelphia Phillies. He gave up nine hits and seven earned runs with two home runs in just four innings pitched. Now, Buto versus last year's Phillies team that made the World Series versus this year's A's team is a little like apples and oranges. And I know in two starts this season in Syracuse in the minor leagues, Buto had a 1.86 ERA. But, I mean, this guy is 21 and 26 in the minors over his career. And he is playing an Oakland A's team that I know is a bad offensive team, but they are still pro athletes, and I don't think they're going to be too scared of Buto today. Speaking of not being scared, the Mets hitters will face off against J.P. Sears, who this season is 0-1 with a 5.5 ERA and has allowed three earned runs and at least one home run in each time that he has taken them out this season. The only time that he faced the Mets in his career was last year. He only went 3.2 innings, gave up eight hits and six earned runs. So I don't think this Mets team is going to be worried about facing him today in Oakland. Now, when Sears is knocked out of the game, that's when the real fun starts for the Mets. The Oakland bullpen has a 6.11 ERA, third worst in the majors, and a 1.56 whip. I think the Mets score some runs today, and the A's against a lifetime minor leaguer are going to also put up three to four, and this one is going to go over the total of eight and a half. Now that brings us here to our street challenge where we're trying to turn $2 into $32,000. Will we do it? Probably not, but we did win again yesterday, and that put us at day number five. 14 days, 14 MLB prop bets, one goal, 32K. Yesterday, J-Rod had a triple halfway through the Mariners game and cashed the over one and a half total bases in day four. So here we are on day five, and we're going to go with Nolan Arenado over one and a half total bases. Nolan, his career, he is in his career, he's hitting 287 versus the Pirates, has 10 hits in the last 10 games versus them, and that includes two extra base hits. And versus Mitch Keller, who's on the mound today for the Pirates, he's hitting 273 with a home run and two extra base hits in just 11 at-bats. So let's go, Arenado. Let's get over one and a half total bases, and hopefully we can get to day six tomorrow. Feel free to join us in this streak challenge, and who knows, maybe in a two-week period during the season, we will have two straight weeks of perfection, but probably not. In the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy a huge Sunday afternoon slate of MLB baseball. And we will see you live right here on YouTube at 1.30 p.m. for Guardians Baseball.